Hello, my name is Joy. Another Human Race Club meeting is just about to begin and you're invited to attend. But you'd better hurry into the treehouse if you don't want to miss anything. Okay, you guys. Okay. Okay, you guys. It's time for the meeting to come to order. <sighs> Will the meeting please come to order? Shh. It's time for our meeting to start. That's more like it. Now, the first thing we need to talk about is our swim party. What's there to talk about? We've already figured out all the details for the party. We need to decide whether or not we're going to invite outsiders to the party. Why do we need to discuss that? We've never invited outsiders to our other swim parties. Yeah. But just because we've never done it before, doesn't mean that we can't do it this time. Is there any particular outsider that you want to invite to the party? Well, uh... Could the outsider you want to invite be a new girlfriend? Of course not. As a matter of fact, it's a guy. Well, just who is this guy? His name is Eric Schaefer, and he... Has tons of money. He's just about as rich as they come. Uh, that's true, AJ. But I wasn't thinking of Eric's money. I was thinking... Don't get me wrong, Teddy. I think I know what's behind your wanting to invite Eric. And I think it's a great idea. If Eric became a member of our club, chances are none of us would ever have to pay club dues again. I can't believe my ears. Are you two advocating that the members of this club get into a relationship like the one you had with Chris Todd? Hmm. If my memory is correct, the situation that Pamela is talking about centered around Chris Todd's birthday parties, and as I recall, this is how it happened. Everybody, look what I got in the mail! AJ shouted as he rushed into the clubhouse. Maggie looked up from the comic book she was reading long enough to respond sarcastically to AJ's enthusiasm. Nothing any of us would get in the mail could be worth that much excitement. Ignoring Maggie's remark, Casey rushed to where AJ was standing. Teddy and Pamela followed. Well, Teddy demanded. Seeing that he had the three kids' undivided attention, A.J. decided to prolong the suspense as long as he could. With a big grin on his face, A.J. playfully tucked the envelope he was holding into his pants pocket. Teddy caught on to what A.J. was doing and became a little annoyed. Looking at Pamela and Casey, Teddy said, We don't have time for this foolishness. It's time for our weekly meeting. But I want to see what's in the envelope. Realizing that he might lose his audience, A.J. quickly responded, Okay, okay, here it is. He pulled the envelope out of his pocket and held it up for everyone to see. Teddy grabbed the envelope from A.J.'s hand and read the name that was written above the return address. Chris Todd? He looked at A.J. in disbelief. Is this an invitation to Chris's birthday party? You got it. Teddy plopped himself down in a nearby chair and whined. You mean Chris invited you to his birthday party? And he didn't invite me? Bingo! Having no interest in Chris Todd's birthday party, Pamela and Casey returned to their previous activities. The dialogue between Teddy and AJ continued. But how could this be? Teddy's lack of enthusiasm over AJ's invitation bothered AJ. Hey man, I worked hard for that invitation. And no one should know that better than you. Don't you remember how hard you worked for that invitation you got last year? 
On the opposite side of the room, the three remaining club members began their own conversation. So what's the big deal about an invitation to Chris Todd's birthday party? And what does AJ mean when he says worked for it? You girls don't know about Chris Todd's parties because you've never been invited. And chances are you'll never be invited. And just what's that supposed to mean? Maggie's harshness put Casey on the defensive and he fumbled for an answer to her question. What I mean is you wouldn't be invited to Chris Todd's birthday party because you're girls and Chris hates girls. Well, of all the nerve, Maggie said angrily. Realizing he had said something that upset Maggie, Casey tried to smooth things over. But Maggie, he'd never invite me to his parties either. He only invites his friends to his parties. And to be his friend, you have to have qualifications I don't have. Unmercifully, Maggie continued grilling Casey. Exactly what kind of qualifications are you talking about, Casey? While Casey searched his mind for the correct answer to Maggie's question, Pamela commented. Gosh, Casey, you make it sound as though Chris Todd hires his friends. By this time, the talking among Maggie, Casey, and Pamela had captured Teddy's and AJ's attention, and both boys joined the others. Teddy was the first to respond to Maggie's and Pamela's remarks. You girls probably already know that Chris is super rich. Everything he has is the newest and the best, and everything he does is fantastic. If you're lucky enough to be his friend, you're in for a good time. Teddy paused and AJ took over. Don't you remember the trip Teddy took to Mexico last year? That was for Chris's birthday. Mr. Todd flew Chris and five of his friends in his private plane to Mexico. This year, Mr. Todd's flying Chris and five of us to Southern California, and we're going to Disneyland. Unimpressed with Teddy's and AJ's account of Chris Todd's wealth and travels, Maggie spoke up. I couldn't care less what some spoiled rich kid does to celebrate his birthday. Let's get back to my original question. What qualifications do Chris Todd's friends need to have? And I'd like to know something else. What gives this kid the right to be so picky? AJ made the first attempt to answer Maggie's question. Chris likes the athletic type, and he also likes guys who are popular. But AJ, you're forgetting the most important qualification. Chris Todd likes people who do what he tells them to do. He insists on being boss, and he gets away with it because everyone wants to be his friend. Pamela had been relatively quiet throughout the discussion among the other club members. But as time went by, she couldn't contain herself. If what you say is true, Chris Todd doesn't have any real friends, and that makes me feel sorry for him. Oh, Pamela, don't be so dumb. You don't have to feel sorry for Chris Todd. He has more than you and I will ever have. Unaffected by AJ's remark, Pamela continued. AJ, I feel sorry for you, and Teddy too. Allowing Chris Todd to boss you around so you can go to his birthday party? It's shameful. Right on, Pamela. The little time that had been allotted for the club meeting had been consumed by the conversation about Chris Todd and the invitation to his birthday party. Now it was time for everyone to go home. One by one, the club members filed out of the clubhouse. AJ was the last to leave. Deep down inside, he knew Pamela had made some good points, but he didn't want to think about that now. Hello, this is Joy. For the ending to this video and for other videos like it, go to our website at joyberryenterprises.com.